new hobby. When I'm on bus, snooping on them who ain't like the rest of us. Posh pricks, wags, vegans, snooties, career women in blazers and knee-high black booties. There were two today on their morning commute. I sort of in behind, put my headphones on mute. They were up to their pom-poms in my favourite topic. What's good scran when you're fucking neurotic? One started the day with a bowl of granola. <gasps> but that's full of sugar, her friend quickly told her. Embarrassed, bitch, I wanted to say. Tried to recover with a go-to cliche. The slow cooker routine, I've heard 50 times through. Chuck it all in in the morning, rock up home to a stew. Who wants to fucking eat stew every day where your Richmonds are mushy, lukewarm and grey? Unimpressive this time. A friend had one too. I've got the new crock pot in cool baby blue. Switched off for a bit. Only so much I can take. Plan my lunchtime Greg's trip. Ice finger, steak bake. I tune back in later and it's office chat, media, publishing, some bollocks like that. Distributors, e-books, boring as shit. A new line of topic when the chat dried up quick. A ludicrous one, I'm sure you'll agree. If you were a font, what font would you be? I know what a font is. We did them at school. It's what you put words in to make them look cool. Humans can't be fonts, that's fucking stupid. But for the next 20 minutes, this shit was disputed. If I had to choose one, maybe Helvetica? Skinny but curvy, that's sans serif erotica. Times New Roman is my kind of graphic. Constant, reliable and really quite classic. Granola bitch clocks me, corner of her eye. I pretend my tunes are on, watch cars driving by. She goes to a mate, like this, with her hands. That girl behind, she's a comic sans. Not understanding a dig can make anyone skit. So, walking off the bus, I spit on her tits. Stupid bitch knew she was well in the wrong. Stared ahead saying nothing like a right gormless mong. Fucked off to the library, annual visit. No, not to read. Free computer time, innit? The font detective, typing away, working out what granola bitch had been trying to say. My heart did a jump when I found Comic Sans. It looked fucking nice. I put me head in me hands. She'd paid me a compliment and I gozzed on a hooter. My guilty head fell on the keys of the computer. Excuse me, madam, is everything okay? What do you know, third snooty of the day. Fine, thanks, I said. Fuck off, I thought. I think you might need a little font support. That there on your screen is Comic Sans, and between you and me, it doesn't have many fans. Fuck off, I thought. Why not? I asked. She best make this short if she don't want to get glassed. It's overused, childish, simplistic and crappy. The people who use it are seen as quite tacky. She looked straight at me nikes. One yellow, one red. Fuck off, I thought. Fuck off, I said. She froze on the spot, showed her orgasm face. Then off she fucked back out my space. Now a new granola bitch was bitching about me. Time to prove her wrong with a shitty PC. <laughs> she fucking sucked me in. I was playing her game, finding a font I could put to my name. I need one with good smileys. I use them all the time. Because happy faces in text tell people you're fine. Thumbs up, too, there for me mum when she asks us to pick up a prescription on tram. She's pretty ill, actually. Some it's sclerosis or something. I'd say I don't pity us, but you've already done it. It's probably one reason my mood changes are frenzied. I need a font that shows it where all letters are varied. You know what? Fuck letters. They're overrated. Pictures, though, now they've never dated. Who doesn't need a picture of a grenade and a cute little love heart when you want to get laid. I found a typeface with all these things. If I was a font, I'd be fucking wingdings.